and exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can imagine or even think. Our theme for the months of October, November, and December is prayer still works. Amen. 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 How many of you know that prayer still works? Yes, Come on. All the time. Yeah. Yay. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I don't yeah. know Thank if you, Jesus. I don't Amen. know if you yeah. are aware of Amen. the fact that uh, these missionaries over in Haiti yes. have been taken hostage. Yes. 17 of them. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, it's been in the news and um, they've been held captive uh, for the last few days. And this gang uh, that have taken them hostage is asking a uh, million dollars for each member and it's 17 of them. Uh, children, uh, I think five are children, and right. one is 18 months. Oh my God. And they're threatening to murder them if the ransom isn't paid. And I know prayer yes. is our most powerful yes. weapon yes. against evil. Yes. Amen? Amen. And it still works. And the Christian aid ministries, the, these missionaries were there visiting an orphanage mm -hmm. uh, that they had helped build. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were just there visiting, and then they were taken hostage by this gang. And so we want to keep them in prayer Amen. because yes. we know that prayer still works. Amen. Amen. The Lord Amen. will fly him with a hot balloon and take him. Amen. 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 The Lord can do miraculous things and we're about to see that here in this scripture. If you have your, your Bibles, if you would turn with me to the book of Acts mm -hmm. chapter 12. The book of Acts chapter 12. Amen. Amen. We're going to begin at verse 1. The book of Acts, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. And it reads, About that time, Herod, the king, laid violent hands on some who belonged to the church. He killed James the brother of John with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the days of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison, delivering him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God Amen. by the church. Amen. Now when Herod was about to bring him out, on that very night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries before the door were guarding the prison. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood next to him and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him saying, get up quickly. And the chains fell off his hands. And the angel said to him, dress yourself and put on your sandals. And he did so. And he said to him, wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Mm. And he went out and followed him. He did 
did not know that what was being done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they had passed the first and second guard, they came to the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord. And they went out and went along one street and immediately the angel left him. When Peter came to himself, he said, now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. When he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose other name was Mark, where many were gathered together and were praying. And when he knocked at the door, of the gateway, a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer. Recognizing Peter's voice in her joy, she did not open the gate, but ran in and reported that Peter was standing at the gate. They said to her, you are out of your mind. But she kept insisting that it was so. And they kept saying, it is his angel. But Peter continued knocking, and when they opened, they saw him and were amazed. But motioning to them with his hand to be silent, he described to them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, tell these things to James and to the brothers. Then he departed and went to another place. Mm -hmm. This is the word of the Lord. Praise Amen. You. Praise ye the Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer still works. Mm, all the time. Mm. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for waking us up and giving us a reasonable portion of good health and strength. We thank you for providing and protecting us from the coronavirus as we experience this pandemic throughout the world. Bless us now in this time together. In Yeshua's name we pray. And let the church say amen. 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 Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Yes. And on that law, he meditates day and night. He will be like a tree planted by rivers of water that yields his fruit in his season. His leaf will not wither, and whatsoever he does will prosper. Simon Peter, also known as Cephas, was one of the first followers of Jesus Christ. He was an outspoken and ardent disciple, one of Jesus' closest friends, an apostle and a pillar of the church. Peter was enthusiastic, strong-willed, impulsive, and at times, brash. But for all his strengths, Peter had several failings in his life. Still the Lord who chose him continued to mold him into exactly who he intended Peter to be. Simon was originally from Bethsaida and lived in Capernaum. And both cities are on the coast of the Sea of Galilee. He was married, according to 1 Corinthians 9 and 5, and he and James and John were partners in a profitable fishing business. Simon met Jesus through his brother Andrew, who had followed Jesus 
after hearing John the Baptist proclaim that Jesus was the Lamb of God. And Andrew immediately went to find his brother to bring him to Jesus. And upon meeting Simon, Jesus gave him a new name. Cephas, which is Aramaic, and Peter, which is Greek, which both mean the rock. And later, Jesus officially called Peter to follow him, producing a miraculous catch of fish. And immediately, Peter left everything behind to follow the Lord. For the next three years, Peter lived as a disciple of the Lord Jesus. But being a natural born leader, Peter became the de facto spokesman for the 12. And more significantly, it was Peter who first confessed Jesus as the Christ, the son of the living God. Yes. A truth that Jesus said was divinely revealed to Peter. Peter was part of the inner circle of Jesus' disciples. And along with James and John, only those three were present when Jesus raised the daughter of Jairus and when Jesus was transfigured on the mountain. Peter and John were given the special task of preparing the final Passover meal for Jesus. In several, in, in several instances, Peter showed himself to be impetuous to the point of rashness. For example, it was Peter who left the boat to walk on water to Jesus and promptly took his eyes off Jesus and began to sink. It was Peter who took Jesus aside to rebuke him for speaking of his death and was swiftly corrected by the Lord. It was Peter who suggested erecting three tabernacles to honor Moses, Elijah, and Jesus and fell to the ground in fearful silence at God's glory. It was Peter who drew his sword and attacked the servant of the high priest and was immediately told by Jesus to sheathe his weapon. It was Peter who boasted that he would never forsake the Lord even if anyone or everyone else did and later denied three times yes, that he did. even knew the Lord. Mm -hmm. Through all of Peter's ups and downs, the Lord Jesus remained his loving Lord mm -hmm. and faithful God. Yes. Yes, yes. Jesus reaffirmed Simon as Peter the Rock in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 and 19, promising that he would be instrumental in establishing Jesus' church. And after Jesus' resurrection, Jesus specifically named Peter as one who needed to hear the good news in the book of Mark, chapter 16, at verse 7. And repeating the miracle of the large catch of fish, Jesus made a special point of forgiving and restoring Peter and recommissioning him as an apostle. In our text, Herod had Peter arrested during the Passover celebration. This was a strategic move since more Jews were in the city than usual and Herod could impress the most people. The Romans had appointed him to rule over most of Palestine, including the territories of Galilee, Perea, Judea, and Samaria. He persecuted the Christians in order to please the Jewish leaders who opposed them, hoping that would solidify his position. Yeah. Herod's plan undoubtedly was to execute Peter, mm -hmm. but the believers mm -hmm. were praying yes. for yeah. Peter's safety. Yes. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, yeah. the earnest prayer of the church significantly affected the outcome yes. of these events. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, prayer still works. All the time. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes. Help me. Yes. Help me if you can. 
Prayer changes things. Yes. Yes. So pray often yes. and pray with confidence. Yes. God yes. sent an angel to rescue Peter. Yes. Angels, brothers and sisters, are God's messengers. Mm -hmm. they, are. they are divinely created beings with supernatural powers, and they sometimes take on human appearance Amen. in order to talk to people. Yes, right? they do. In the book of Hebrews, at chapter 13 and verse 2, it reminds us, Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, mm -hmm. for thereby some have entertained angels yes. unawares. Yes. Amen. Three Old Testament people entertain angels without even knowing it. Abraham in Genesis chapter 18, verse 1. Gideon in Judges chapter 6, verse 11. And Manoah in Judges chapter 13, verse 2. I should point out that angels should not be worshipped. They are God's servants mm -hmm. just as we are. Amen. 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 Now, now, watch this. I don't want you to miss this. The prayers of the group of believers were answered even as they prayed. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's powerful. Yes, it is. You know, a lot of us probably believe, well, I got to at least finish the prayer before I can expect <laughs> to get an answer. But see, God answers prayer in his time. His time Amen. is always perfect. Yes. perfect. He may not answer your prayer for a long time. Right. Right. Amen? But even when he does answer, it's always perfect. But yes. here in our text, God answered even as they prayed. Yes. They were praying and God had already answered yes. the prayer. Amen. But when the answer arrived at the door, they didn't believe it. <laughs> They didn't believe it. You know, uh, they, they, they were shocked. And brothers and sisters, listen. We should be people of faith. Yes. Who believe that God answers the prayers of those who seek his will. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so, so when you pray, believe you're going to get an answer. Amen. Because you never know what God's going to do. That's he right. may answer it before you even finish praying. Amen. And when the answer comes, don't be surprised. Be thankful. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Listen, I want to just turn our attention quickly to one of the other characters in the text. As I read it, you, you might have missed it. Her name is Rhoda. Amen. Amen. Rhoda, whose name means rose in Greek. She's only mentioned one time in the Bible, and that's in this text, in chapter 12, in the book of Acts. But she played an important role and gave modern believers like us a powerful example. In the days of the early church, both the Jews and the Romans were hostile towards Christians. So they often met secretly in houses for prayer and worship. One such house in Jerusalem belonged to Mary, the mother of Mark. And certain tradition states that Mary, Mary's house was the same house where the disciples celebrated the Last Supper with Jesus. Rhoda was a servant girl in this house, which was a hub for the growing church. One night, the Christians had gathered in Mary's house and were earnestly praying to God yes. for the life of Peter, who had been arrested by Herod. Their pleas would have been desperately fervent because James, the brother of John, had just been killed mm -hmm. and martyred by Herod, and Peter was slated for execution. While the church prayed, God answered. Yes. He miraculously delivered Peter from prison. An angel led him out yes. of the cell and through the prison gate, which opened for them by itself yes. to pass through. Upon realizing that 
he was not dreaming because he, he he thought he would he said this must be a dream yeah. you know and, and Peter Peter you know when he realized he wasn't dreaming he he made his way to a place he knew was safe which was Mary's house Amen. and when Peter arrived and knocked on the door the servant girl Rhoda came to answer she heard Peter's voice and knew it was he but in her excitement and joy, she forgot to actually open the door, <laughs> leaving Peter standing in the night. She re rushed to tell everyone else about the miracle outside. They did not believe her, though thinking she was out of her mind. And when Rhoda was insistent, the believers decided it must be Peter's angel his guardian angel, perhaps, or his ghost, rather than the answer to their prayers. Mm -hmm. All this time, Peter continued knocking on the door until finally they answered it and were amazed to see Peter there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rhoda had been telling the truth, never doubting that God had literally answered their prayers. Amen. Then Peter told them of his wondrous escape from jail. You know what? Uh, in my uh, theological and sanctified <laughs> imagination, I said, you know, uh, if, if I was arrested right. <laughs> and thrown into prison, mm -hmm. and they, they probably would arrest me for going against the government, and they said, we ain't set no bail. We ain't giving him no bail. And, and all y'all gathered at my Jerry's house. And y'all were praying fervently Amen. for my safety yes. and release. And an angel of God was sent and released me from prison. And I came to my Jerry's house. And I was knocking on the door. And Cheyenne comes to the door. And she says, who is it? And I said, it's Pastor Pace. And she recognized my voice. And she runs back to tell everybody. And y'all say, oh, Cheyenne, oh, no, he ain't packed. He in jail. He ain't getting out of jail. And she says she insists yes. that Pastor Pace is at the door. And you come to the door, and you open the door, and there I am. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Rhoda had been telling the truth, never doubting right. that God had literally answered their prayer. Amen. Amen. God has a way of doing things. He will answer your prayer even before you finish Amen. praying. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Because prayer still works. And God is in control. And finally, brothers and sisters, in closing, it is interesting that the church was praying earnestly, mm -hmm. yet they did not believe the answer to their prayers when it came. Brothers and sisters, you got to believe. Amen. You know, we're people of faith. Don't pray and don't believe you're not going to receive an answer. You know, you got to have faith in God and trust him that what you pray for, he will answer. They forgot an important part of prayer, which is looking. For an answer. Amen. Rhoda was the first one to know of Peter's deliverance and she carried the joyful message to the others. Yes. She did not let their doubts stop her from sharing Amen. what she knew was true. Right. Yes. God had done the impossible mm -hmm. yes. and he's able to do anything all above God. all that we can yes. imagine or think. And even in the face of their unbelief she was unrelenting in her joy. Yes. Amen. Brothers and sisters, believers today Amen. can take a cue from Rhoda yes. and share the news of what God accomplishes mm -hmm. with those around us mm -hmm. and continue to remain joyful mm -hmm. in what we know is true. 